hello. Thanks for watching my video. So, we have uh, travelled back in time, basically, to the 1950s. Because this video, we are going to be playing as... I don't want to say a repressed housewife, but uh, more, more of a housewife slash mum, you know? Getting to the point in my life where, getting a little bit older, I should probably start thinking about family, and I kind of thought, you know, probably a good way to mentally prepare myself is to just live it out in The Sims, you know? See if it would really be that difficult. I'm sure it can't be that hard, you know, managing a family and a house. So, um, today we're going to play a day in the life of a very busy mum. So this here is Julia. She lives in a fairly big, quite nice house. Uh, I actually did a speed build of this house if you want to watch it. I'll link it somewhere. And, uh, is her husband right here, Hank, and together they have three children and a dog. So they've got a little toddler, Poppy, who lives in here. They have uh, another daughter called Alia. She lives in here. Well, she that's her bedroom. And then we have a son called Hugo. This is his room. And we also have a dog, Donnie, as well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just gone 6 a.m., it's love day. I'm probably not really going to acknowledge that too much. But uh, yeah, I just want to see how difficult it can really be being a busy mum. So I think let's start off with maybe we will wake the toddler up. We'll take the toddler downstairs. Oh, Julia's gloomy. I didn't even realise she was gloomy. I didn't mean to do that. We'll wake the toddler up, take her downstairs because we need to get breakfast on the go because the kids are going to be going to school at eight. Husband's going to be going to work. They're going to want their... They're going to want to fry up or something, so of course we better take the toddler down with us. We don't want anyone else having to deal with the toddler, so we'll take her. We're the kind of mum where, you know, the, the kids are our responsibility, really. So we'll put Poppy down here in the kitchen. We're the type of parent where, you know, when the dad decides to do some parenting, um, you know, we refer to it as babysitting. Even though dads technically, you know, they can't babysit their kids, but... So let's make some eggs and toast for the uh, for the family, ready for breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day after all. Why didn't you bring the toddler down? Shit, you've only got an hour. Oh god, this is stressing me out already. You only have an hour to make breakfast for everybody. You better do it quick. Quick stat. Shit, she started a fire. I'm gonna get the kids downstairs. You need to get out of bed. You've got school in a minute. Get the fuck down here. I'm not too sure when he when the husband starts work. Oh, 9 a.m., okay, yeah. I feel like maybe getting up at 6 a.m. wasn't early enough. She's gonna have to start getting up at like four <laughs> to be able to make breakfast in time for everybody. Look, they're literally watching her like, hey, come on, woman, where's my fucking brekkie? It's gonna be a waste of everyone's money. Oh, see, now they're going to school. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm literally five minutes in and I'm already useless. Husband has no faith in our cooking that he's decided to make his own breakfast. Oh, this is a joke. This is a joke. And the baby's hungry as well. Well, the kids are off to school, so they've gone to school hungry. So, uh, Julia, I hope you're proud of yourself. Right, we need to go and put Poppy, put Poppy in her high chair and then we'll, uh, we'll give her a serving of breakfast. Oh, I see, the kids, the kids eating on the floor. Come on, Julia, it's not that hard. It's still early morning and the house looks a fucking state. Also, I'm not too sure why our husband hasn't gone to work yet. Maybe he's got a day off today. Maybe that's why he was so chill about, you know, not asking her to rush with breakfast like the kids were. Those poor kids, they're going to come home starving. Okay, well, I'm just going to send him to go and sit on a skill class then instead. All right, see you later, hubby. Have a good day. Okay, now you're gonna have to clean all of this up. Clean up all the dishes. I mean, don't... <laughs> By all means, move at a leisurely pace. It's not like we've got much to do today. The dog needs to be let out. We need to go and let him out. Take him for a short walk so he can go pee. Come on, Julia, hurry the fuck up. So we're at 12 o'clock and we've got as far as cleaning up breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're gonna take the dog out? Okay, there we go. Is the toddler coming with? Or are you just gonna leave the toddler at home? Huh? Just gonna leave the toddler at home? Oh, well, Hank's come back, so he can watch the kid for a little while while you take the dog for a walk. So it can go to the bathroom. Oh, I forgot, we live opposite, like, a dog park. 
place. Oh, well, that's, that's pretty handy. Okay, the dog went for a wee. That's good, that's good. Okay, we can go home now. Okay, now you need to do all of the laundry. Add the laundry to the washing machine. Fucking hell, you lazy bitch. Look, we've got a dust bunny now. Good job. Good going. And it's only been one day. <laughs> and the kids are home from school. So basically we've done fuck all all day. <laughs> so we have a ton of laundry to do. What are the kids doing? Oh, they're watching cartoons. Okay, at least they're keeping themselves occupied. Yeah, that's right. Go around, collect all the laundry. These kids are probably hungry, so you're going to have to get dinner on. Poor Julia, I mean, she really has the best of intentions, but she's just such a bad mother, you know, oh, neglectful. Oh she gets distracted. You would not last if this were the 1950s, Julia. Honestly, you really wouldn't. You'd be a joke. You'd be the laughing stock of the town. You'd be the butt of every joke in the mum club. People would be talking like, oh, did you hear Julia? She didn't serve breakfast until gone 10 a.m. You don't want that, Julia. You really need to get your act together. You don't want to be known as, like, part-time mum. Especially when this is all you do. That's it. That's it. I think your main problem, Julia, is that you just need to be a bit more grateful. You have this lovely home that your husband provided for you. You're just taking it for granted. Where are you going now? You need to serve dinner, bitch. Serve dinner. Um, we need to have... Why don't you make some fish tacos for everybody? The kids are clearly hungry. The babe's pissed off. It just seems like everywhere you go, you're pissing people off. Make yourself useful. Put yourself in the kitchen. You know, this kind of... Uh, this entire video was inspired by a commercial I saw that just, it made me laugh so, so much. It was the silliest thing. It was a commercial for a cleaning supplies subscription box. I want to say it was called Grove, but I can't remember. But basically, it's like a subscription box that you can order that has all your cleaning supplies. And uh, this, it made me laugh so hard because there was a, a woman on there who was like presented as, you know, busy mum type. And um, she was doing an interview. Well, like as part of the commercial, she made a comment um, in this ad that was like talking about Grove. And she was like, it makes me feel like I have more control over my life. And I just thought that was a very funny thing to say considering you're talking about a subscription box for cleaning products. I mean, some people might say that's a little bit overboard to say that you have control over your... I mean, <laughs> I feel like you could have someone who is a raging alcoholic and is just a fucking asshole to everyone, but they also have a Grove subscription box and your first thought is, man, they really have control over their lives now that they've got this cleaning product subscription box. Don't grab yourself a cervix. Gee, you... Give some to the babe. Wrong with you. Who made you so selfish? Who did? That's what I want to know. Oh, so everyone else has finished dinner now and uh, you haven't even fed the baby yet. And you're, uncomf you're uncomfortable. Have a laugh. Oh, look at the dog though. Bless him. Oh, Donnie. Grab a serving for the babe. I mean, Christ woman, feed your child. She's not. She's just sat there, sit like, oh, so happy. Feed the kid, you dozy cow. Feed her. This is what really pisses me off about The Sims. You ask them to do something, and they just sit there with a blank, stupid, fucking, pathetic smile on their face, just like, yeah. And you're like, well, fucking do it then. Okay, vacuum around. You need to clean this house because it's looking like an, an absolute state. You need to get rid of all the dust bunnies. That's it. That's it. I like how she is vacuuming that one spot and suddenly everything is uh, clean everywhere. Did you actually wash the laundry or did you just put it in the washing machine? She never even put the washing machine on. She never put it on. Oh, fuck, the dog's hungry. That's right. Feed the dog. Feed the dog. Dog's got to eat too. Okay, well, while the washing is being done, is there anything? Oh, I see a job for you here. Someone's left some rubbish. You need to go clear that up. Okay, what's the situation downstairs? We got any jobs to do? What about upstairs? How's it looking upstairs? Oh, someone's made a mess. You better go clean up that mess. There's a dust bunny in your bedroom. You need to vacuum to perfection. Clean up the kid's mess. Go on. That's right. Kid just walks past. Just leave some more laundry on the floor. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Mum will take care of it. Yeah. 
I feel like I'm getting into the mindset of a repressed housewife now because now I'm starting to feel like these ungrateful fucking kids don't appreciate what I do for them. They just take me for granted. I mean, look at the state of that fucking toilet. Is that the toilet of a family that appreciates their mother? I don't think so. Oh, fuck's sake. Let's just replace it. But it's still dirty. Why is there an option to flush? Does that mean someone's just left a massive turd in there or something? Fucking kids. It reminds me of that video. <laughs> that Scot- I think- I, I, th I want to say that Scottish woman. That doesn't flush a shit. Disgusting! Okay, so you finish vacuuming, flush the turd down the toilet. Do the kids need any help with their homework or are they all good in that sense? Oh, this kid's got some laundry in his inventory. And his one goal that he's going towards now is make a mess. <laughs> These kids are such ungrateful assholes, man. They really are. Right, so before you can do the rest of the laundry, you need to unload and move the laundry to the dryer. That's right, that's right. Get it in the tumble dryer. And now we can put the other laundry load in. No available washing machine. What the fuck are you talking about? There's a washing machine right there. Right there! Yeah. Add to washing machine. Okay, is there anything needed over here? Oh, yep, yeah, we need to clean up dinner still. So clean up all of this. And then also, it's like, it's 11.30. Now, I don't know much about toddlers, but I reckon that might be, it might be almost bedtime. Okay, so I think the kids are going to go to bed. Hank is going to go relax, you know, because it's been a tough day for him. It's been a hard, long day for him. And then we are going to, is there anything else we need to do? Okay, Hugo's done his homework, he can go to bed. You should probably put the toddler to bed. Oh, she's already asleep. Okay, good job, good job. Right, well, I think we might be done. We can take a look at how the uh, tumble dryer is doing. Oh, she never even put the tumble dryer on. Useless, dry the laundry. The dog likes, uh, he likes watching the laundry go. I can see why, I mean some ways it's pretty mesmerizing isn't it i just don't understand why it looks like there's water inside when it's a tumble dryer oh oh both bad boys are going now god what a thrill ride okay now i see the difference between the washer and the dryer okay i get it now i get it now oh the dog wants a little pet right okay you can uh you can go and get some sleep not too much though because you've got a busy day tomorrow I have noticed she hasn't really taken much care of the toddler too much, you know? Right, okay, it's 4am. You've had a good three hours sleep, so that should be enough. You need to go and serve breakfast. So if she cooks all this now, there is a chance she might just be done by the time the kids wake up at, like, six. I mean, we're already, like, half five. So in an hour and a half, you've managed to do a mixing bowl. Yep, well done. So incompetent. Sims are so incompetent. Okay, right, the kids are up. We finally managed to make breakfast in time so that the kids can eat before they go to school. And to do that, all we had to do was wake up at 4 a.m. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Nice family time to eat our eggs and bacon. Come on, kids. Come get your food. You don't have to starve today. Oh, what do you fucking want now? Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for a family just yet, you know, it's just, it's becoming a bit of a pain in the ass. Although I do accept that in real life I won't have to hoover every day and do laundry every day. I say that, there'll be some fucking mum in the comment being like, huh, fat chance, you will have to hoover every day. No, you don't. You don't have to hoover every day. Unload and put laundry away and then you can hang this laundry on the, oh shit, Poppy's hungry. You fucking terrible parent. She's very angry. You've completely neglected this child. Oh my god, I've only just noticed. Look at the state of the, the trash can out there. You really need to clean that up. I hope she's gonna pick that trash can up. And no, you're just gonna you're just gonna take the outdoor trash into the indoor bin. You're just gonna leave that as it is, are you? Unbelievable. Also, I just realised it's Saturday, the kids aren't going to school. We could have had a lie-in, couldn't we? Right, Julia, why is the dad doing your job? Why is he having to Thank feed the kid? You. You're supposed to be feeding it. That kid is filthy. Change her diaper. Feed her. <laughs> what an interesting way of picking your child up to change their diaper. Julia, I really don't know if you were cut out for this, this parenting thing. You look great in the little dress and everything and the little pinny, but 
let's be honest, you are making an absolute mockery out of what are otherwise very simple tasks. And look, the dad's now changed the diaper. She is a master manipulator, this woman. Do you know what? I regret Ooh. I regret playing as her because she's she's selfish. I'll ask her to do something like feed the kid. She'll be like, yeah, I'll feed the kid. Then I see the dad's feeding the kid. Then I say, change the diaper. And she's like, yeah, don't worry, Carla, I'll change his diaper. And then what happens? The dad fucking changes the diaper. You manipulative swine. You think you can bathe your own child? No? You're not, you're not too above that, are you? There we go. Okay. That's better. Okay, well, with that in mind, I think I'm going to end this video here because otherwise I'm going to end up in an endless loop of cleaning up after all these children. I think I should have started smaller. I feel like I should have started as, as like a, a single parent with just one child that I have to keep up with. But I do feel like, you know, all these extra add-ons you get to make the game more realistic, you know, like the laundry, the dust and all of that it does kind of make the game very... It does make it difficult in a sense that it's so repetitive because she's doing laundry every day, hoovering every day, and then when you have kids that are always making a mess, I think it could work if, Tim, if Sims completed tasks quicker, but if you really wanted to play as like a busy mum, housewife type of thing, it's a challenge because it will take her an hour to just put laundry in the laundry basket. And this little shit has decided to make a mess. So yeah, I am going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.